is Academy fans, and this week's tip is all about the benefits of using a Friday review system. There's two different ways you can use a weekly review, and both of them are extremely powerful. If you like to keep track of everything you've done in the last seven days, in order to keep yourself accountable and consider how well you've been working towards your goals, a weekly review is actually recommended by David Allen of the Getting Things Done philosophy. So take a look at that if you're interested in learning more about how a weekly review can help keep you on task. In this video, however, I wanna talk about using a weekly review with your digital team and coming up with their tasks for the next week on Friday afternoon. Now I've tried all kinds of other days, but Friday afternoon seems to be the best because it's all about wrapping up the end of the week and thinking about the week ahead. Within this method, basically what we're doing is sitting down and thinking about what tasks you're going to assign to people next week and what things need to get done and who's going to do them. I like having this in a visual format, something that I can hand write, uh, which is why we've created a cheat sheet so you can see how to break things down by project or by the person on your team. It helps you see how much each person is working on, what projects are in motion, and whether you need to come up with some more tasks or maybe whether someone is overloaded. What you're gonna do is sit down and take a look, first of all, at all the tasks that have been completed. Hopefully everything that was assigned for the week has been finished and is sitting in a pile for your review. I like to use a list on Trello uh, that's called For Laura's Review, and it's kind of where cards go after someone's completed their task, but before I move them to complete it and archive them. Um, so those are sort of sitting there for me to take a look at. Um, in an ideal world, I do this every Friday. Sometimes I don't always get to it, but I have the goal and the intention of doing that. So you're gonna take a look at everything that was done or projects that may even be stalled or things that are gonna take longer. That's what we need to know first. So where are the open loops? Where are the problems in the project workflow uh, right now? That's gonna be extremely beneficial for you to know. Um, so after you have gotten to that point, then it is time to consider the things you wanna get done in the following week. You may be including some of the projects from the week before if they weren't able to get finished or if there was an unforeseen problem. But you also wanna think about what's coming for the week ahead and you can break this down by the project type. So let's say um, it's blogs or it's podcast or it's a, you know, a particular marketing project. And then you could list all the tasks that go under that project and who they're assigned to for the following week. You can also do it by person. So having um, a person's name and then listing all the things they're gonna be working on. You can even do both if you really wanna get the most out of it. Why break it down by person? Because if you have a couple of people on your team, it helps to know what they're working on and whether you've given them too much or not enough. Um, so when, since you're already sitting down and getting in this mindset of shifting things off of your plate and over to your team members, it's really helpful to realize, oh, I didn't see that I had given 10 tasks to that one person and there's no way that they can do it. Or maybe I need to come up with a couple more things and we can actually get ahead or farther on this project because people have extra bandwidth. So. I love using the weekly review system. Um, if you can block it out in your calendar for an hour on Friday afternoons, that's a great opportunity for you to touch base on all of the open projects and to look to the week ahead. It really makes things easy for your team members as well because since it's Friday afternoon and you may still be in the office, uh, there's a chance for them to ask quick questions or for them to make their own weekly schedule um, looking forward to see what time they're gonna need to be spending on various tasks. So it works really well for everyone, helps you get a clear head, and think about the things that you want to get done as well as address any pertinent problems.